for us to feel like we're living a life of meaning, we need to do some extraordinary things that are achievable, but extraordinary. Like being an entrepreneur, being admitted into the Guinness World Records, becoming ducks or the best in school, winning a Nobel Peace Prize, becoming an influencer, or being the best at something in the world. And that the ordinary things don't seem so important or are meaningless. If you keep a gratitude journal or give thanks verbally, you know it's the ordinary moments that we're most grateful for. Reading or finishing an uplifting book, spending time with a little one, speaking up, being with children, finishing an exam period, having a meeting go really well, paying bills. Or if you're not into gratitude, we're still doing the ordinary things like... Ordinary such as brushing our teeth every morning, putting on our shoes, exercising, praying, working on the computer, talking to someone, texting, putting in petrol in the car, waiting in traffic, frustrated we're going to be late again because we're waiting in traffic. And these ordinary everyday activities we consider as being tiring, tedious, routine and terrible because where's the extraordinary, the extraordinary goals? When will they be realised? Because for so long we've sat and watched a screen and it's labelled the extraordinary as to have the ultimate meaning, that anything that's extraordinary has meaning and the ordinary doesn't. Because let's face it, the Taj Mahal is extraordinary. The Opera House is extraordinary. Muhammad Ali, his work was extraordinary. With Gandhi, Edison, the Olympic Games, these are all extraordinary people, places and events. But each step they took to become Muhammad Ali, the Olympic Game athletes, to become what's known now known as the Opera House, that every day the extraordinary was built on doing the ordinary, tiring, routine, tedious and terrible activities like brushing your teeth, putting on your shoes, getting back and texting, making phone calls, speaking up, waiting in traffic, getting some exercise, cooking, getting frustrated, sitting in meetings, finding aha moments that we didn't realize, feeling like cousin it when nothing's going to plan, days when it's just not working out. And you just want to hide because how will we ever get to our extraordinary dreams when the ordinary is in the way? And that's the irony that the foundation of being extraordinary or doing extraordinary the foundation of it is the ordinary. In other words, whatever your flavor of extraordinary is, we can't get to it without the ordinary. And therefore the ordinary has so much meaning because it gives birth to that which we see as extraordinary.